sets are a built-in data type in Python that hold the collections of things. Sets are mutable, they're a container type, and set literals are enclosed in braces, or sometimes called curly brackets, which are different from square brackets that enclose lists. The thing about sets is that you can only have one of any element. Duplicate elements are removed when you build a set, and if you try to add a duplicate, it won't get added at all. So sets keep track of what's in there, but they're not allowing duplicates. And they're also unordered, just like dictionary entries. And in fact, they have the additional restriction, which is the same as dictionary entries, that you can't put in a mutable built-in type inside of a set, just like you can't use one for a dictionary key. Okay, let's look at an example. I want to construct a set out of three, two, one, four, and four. Four is repeated and sets don't allow repeats. So if I look at this set, notice that I have an entirely different ordering than I did before because you can never rely on the order of a set and there's only one four. So the set of elements is one, two, three, and four. I can ask whether three is in the set. That's true. I can ask for the length of the set. That's the number of different elements in it and I can apply set operations. Now, if you haven't seen these before, there are ways in which you combine two sets to form another set. And the standard ones are the union, which starts with one set, S, which is one, two, three, four, and takes another set. And when we return the union, that's all the elements that are either in the set here that we're invoking the method on, or in the other set that would pass in. An intersection returns a set of all elements that are in both the set S that we invoke the method intersection on and all of the elements in the argument that we pass in. 